We certainly went through this in the 1960s with Vietnam. And I remember the uh, violent arguments in my own home between uh, my mother's generation and my grandparents' generation. And uh, she, she would say repeatedly, I don't like Lyndon Johnson, the president, but we have to support the troops. And my grandfather, who had been in the First World War, said, well, if you want to support the troops, get them the hell out of there and bring them home. But of course, he thought World War I was a complete waste of time and had been a terrible mistake. So I, I think we've been through this several times. The difference now is that it's not just a question of what we're doing overseas. It's a question of what we're doing at home. Americans are coming back and saying, well, what's happened to my country? I, I went overseas ostensibly to defend the interests of the United States, and no one here is willing to enforce the law. Our borders are open. You know, every conceivable form of uh, perversion seems to be tolerated. And anyone who objects is branded as a criminal. So, you know, this is, this is uh, the ultimate expression of everything, I think, that is, that is concerning in the United States today. We, soldiers are no different than anybody else. They're probably more patriotic, as you point out. But they're saying, what are we doing to ourselves? What are we doing overseas? This is all insanity.